Hello everyone, this is Susie Schulten with Midget Realty. I am currently at 40271 Due East in Avon, North Carolina. This home is listed for sale by Trisha Midget and Courtney Sneerger of Midget Realty. This house was built in 1985. Three bedrooms, two bath, about 987 square feet. And it is currently listed at $500,000. It's just a few short steps to the beach walkover, which is just right there between those two houses. It's a good sized lot. Let's see the rest of the neighborhood here. Let's look around outside. House does have vinyl siding. You can pull under the house and park, but there isn't really a dry entry on the house. Nice concrete parking pad. HVAC unit looks newer. Let's see if there's oh stickers gone. There's a sticker. 2019. So that's good. Look down the side of the house here. There is some sort of underhouse storage area that's elevated. This area does not flood from the ocean side, it floods from the sound. It's interesting, there's an old septic tank here hidden. It's not the septic tank for the house next door because that's over there. This must have been the original septic maybe for the house. Now we have a new tank and field out here in the backyard. Property line probably runs to the edge of where that mound goes down. It's a fairly decent sized lot. Back side of the house. Again, vinyl siding, vinyl soffit. That is a uh, press board. This would be a, let's see, pass the garbage can here. That is a well pump have to look to see if the house is on strictly well water but yeah that's a that's a well pump some people use that for you know some of the houses originally were well back in the day and they've just kept the well a little storage area it's probably locked but let's check yeah, it's locked We've got two sets of stairs going up to this house. You can go up this way. We're going to go up the stairs on the front. This the outdoor shower. I can't get it open very well. It's tiny. All right, let's go up and see what we see inside. Looks like they have hooks out here for a swing. Gravel drive under the grass. Steps to a cute little screened in porch area. They have put some hardware cloth or screen meshing underneath here to keep the bugs out from coming up through in the summertime. This house is a modular, and we will see that when we get inside. All right, so you step right into the kitchen. The windows do not look like they are original 1985 windows. They look like they've been replaced at some point and they have been replaced with Andersons. So modular, big telltale sign of a modular is this extra wide wall right here. That's usually a good sign of modular construction. That's where the two halves of the house were put together. Now, it's been a fairly dry winter. We've had a few episodes of rain. You can see where there is some delamination of the paneling. I don't, at this point, old or new. It's not currently wet. We haven't had any rain for about a week now. So I can't say for sure what is going on with that. And a lot of times... 
people will leave it and just paint over it instead of replacing the piece of paneling. I don't see anything like the ceiling is, has been replaced. It's not popcorn. It is textured, but it's not popcorn. Kitchen. Uh, there is some kind of laminate flooring. I can't say that it's vinyl, but it is a laminate. And you will see in the bathroom right down here. Let's see, okay, so down the hall, first door on the right is a bedroom. And they have a, looks like a queen size bed in there. It's fairly tight. You can see where you have to kind of shimmy around the end of the bed there to get to the other side, but it works bathroom to the left and this is where you can see this laminate at first i thought it was just supposed to look distressed but i'm pretty sure that that's coming up they have done a little bit of work in here as far as replacing vanity light fixtures but the tub yeah, the tub might have been replaced at some point i can't say that's a 1985 tub the toilet's definitely the original because it's a round toilet. All right, there's access up there to the attic. You have access here for a washer and dryer. This is tight. Step back so we can see. Looks like a front loader dryer and a top loader washer. That would have been the original cabinetry in the house in 85. There's a locked owner's closet behind me here. And then at the end of the hallway, you have two bedrooms. This one has been set up as a kid bedroom. It is carpeted. And this is on the back side of the house. It looks like a double bed and then a single and maybe a, that's it. Yeah, I thought maybe there was a trundle, but there's not. And then there is the master bath bedroom. That is a king size bed carpet and this one will have a master bath now that toilet's been replaced same laminate floor here no tub just the uh, shower stall and then you've got the vanity so it's not a gigantic bathroom but it's there and it's it's decent it doesn't look like anything needs to be done on that Looking down the hall, back into the living room area. So you have a nice slider there going out to the side deck, and we'll go out that way. We'll go out the front door and head over that side. So back out the main door. We came up to the right. I'm going to go out over here to the left, hopefully. We're going to have to go out and around. It's locked from the outside. Not much of a view from here. But let's go check out the other side. Everything underneath the house looks tidy. It's a nice little gate here at the top of the steps for kids or pets. Deck looks to be in good shape. Okay, this looks to be added on. See what we can see. No real ocean view, but you can definitely see the path to the beach is just right there. Good look at the roof.
it seems like if this were just a little higher, they might get a view. All right. No hot tub anywhere. And everything is elevated down here, which is nice. So if it does flood at all from the sound side, you're not worried about that. All right, let's take a quick walk to the beach. It really is a matter of minutes. Looks like most of the houses around are rentals. There's a slight incline to the street. I don't know if that's a new construction or if that is a remodel, but it looks nice. They're putting a lot of money there. All right. Here's the walkway. It looks like the tree is lifting the walkway up. I forgot to start timing. to the Park Service border. Now I doubt this wooden walkway goes all the way to the beach. My guess is we're gonna come off the walkway here. Yep, and into, this, into the dune. So double dune line, we're crossing the first dune right now. Avon centrally located to the Food Lion hardware store all the restaurants shopping okay, you can see her in between dunes here this will be hot sand in the summertime definitely flip-flops or even shoes. It's about 45 degrees out here today, so not a bad walk at all. I can hear the ocean. All right, the second dune is a fat one, nice and wide. There's the pier. Fireworks there in the 4th of July. And you can see how wide and beautiful the beach is today. I don't know if you saw it, there were just some dolphins over there to the left. There's a little bench right here, kind of marks your path. It's a beautiful day. All right. Head on back wrap up this video that was 40271 due east drive in avon north carolina if you like this video hit the thumbs up subscribe if you want to receive more you'll get new videos as they become available thank you for watching leave any comments make any suggestions ask any questions all my contact info is down below have a great day